Reality TV star Gino Ballot Solo dropped a bomb by revealing that he made a big mistake with his ex to Jasmine Pineda on 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 Day Season 5. Gino became Jasmine's beautiful gringo ever since they met on an international dating site and made their way into the chaotic world of 90 Day Fiancé. But while their considerable age gap has led to relationship troubles between Jasmine and Gino, so have Jasmine's insecurity and anger issues. After having a meltdown over the blue and red wall paint in Gino's house decided by his ex-wife, Jasmine found out that Gino has been in touch with a different ex. Since discovering that Jasmine is materialistic and blows up when things don't go her way, Gino has been wondering if their relationship is even worth the risk. Unemployed Gino was paying off Jasmine's bills, but when he gifted her a toothbrush for Christmas, Jasmine made him shell out $2,500 for an island trip. With that argument in the past, Jasmine had a divorce party, where she danced seductively with a male stripper. When Gino became furious about Jasmine's objectionable clip with the stripper but was expected to understand that it was nothing, fans wondered how Jasmine would have reacted with Gino in her place. But the stripper episode seems to have become water under the bridge for Gino and Jasmine in 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 Days episode 8, according to a preview by Pop Culture in which they're dealing with a new conflict, his ex. I think I made a big mistake, and I wish I could take it back. It's not gonna be good, Gino confesses to the 90 Day Fiancé cameras. The couple appears to be enjoying their vacation when Jasmine confronts Gino about one of his exes messaging her and sending her a friend request. She told me that she wanted to chat with me, and she also told me that you are still communicating and that you have even told her about me, Jasmine explains. However, Jasmine says that she's now unbothered by Gino's exes as she adds, I just ignore it and I just texted her back like, I don't think we have anything to chat about. I trust Gino. I know that he is not communicating with you. However, Jasmine reveals that the woman was trying to send her another thing, but she blocked her even before she could do it. While Jasmine is talking to Gino, he seems worried and keeps squirming in his seat. She's maybe just jealous. I don't know why. Sometimes, exes just get crazy, Jasmine wonders as she observes Gino's face and gets suspicious about what he's done. According to Jasmine, any other time she would have had a big explosion, but she wants to keep trusting Gino. When Jasmine notices Gino's face donning a worried look all of a sudden, she gets straight to the point by asking him, are you texting her? Gino replies, a little bit, but didn't mean anything, making Jasmine livid and confirms that her boyfriend contacted his ex. Michigan resident Gino spills that he wanted his ex to know that he has met the woman of his dreams and that it happened just two or three days ago. This is when Jasmine decides that she will be unblocking the woman to figure out what she was trying to send. The 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 Days trailer has already hinted at Gino sending Jasmine's private photos to the woman. Fans suspect Gino and Jasmine are no longer together after what happened. However, it's safe to assume that Jasmine and Gino's storyline is just getting started. 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 Days airs Sundays at 8 p.m. EST on TLC Source, Pop Culture.